cancelled. Sweezy. No, oh, we're here. This one's from Vice. I've been really interested in this shit. Uh, why are people tweeting that Nancy Reagan was the throat goat? Thank you, Vice. I logged off Twitter for a couple of healthy hours on Friday. By the time I opened the app on Saturday, my timeline was full of words I did not understand. Nancy Reagan, throat goat. Nancy got that gok gok 3000. I had clearly missed some crucial breaking news. A classic Friday news dump that spawned memes all weekend. Former First Lady Nancy Reagan allegedly gave the greatest blowjobs in Hollywood back in her acting days. And she gave a lot of them, allegedly. The catalyst for the cursed information, I am told by colleagues who swiftly caught me up on this important news, was a tweet from a modest lifestyle influencer and conservative podcaster, Ben Shapiro's sister, Abigail Shapiro, who has various social media channels called Classically Abby. Shapiro tweeted a photo of Madonna recline, <laughs> reclining on a bed with one boob out, and the Reagan family gathered for a wholesome photo where Nancy stands in the middle dressed like a Where's Waldo Grandma cosplay. This is Madonna at 63. This is Nancy Reagan at 64. Trashy living versus classic living. Which version of yourself do you want to be? This is all to say that lots of different types of people enjoy sex, possibly have a lot of it, and might even be good at it, regardless how they dress or their general public image. Motherboard has been unable to verify these stories, but this set off an entire weekend of memes, videos, jokes, tweets, etc. about Nancy Reagan allegedly being very good at giving blowjobs. The result of Abby's observation and the subsequent revelation that allegedly the former first lady's head game went crazy resulted in some of the best jokes this terrible little app has seen in a very long time. The memes livestock have moved quickly to the school... School Marms of Twitter takes TV writer Nell Scovell tweeted and then deleted on behalf of schools everywhere. If you're laughing about Nancy Reagan having skills at sex, please remember this is this is it's a classic high school move. There's nothing wrong with being really good at blowjobs, but it's not hard to imagine that the story, whether it's true or not, was initially shared and passed on the intention of hurting and humiliating Nancy Reagan. But I haven't seen anyone in Tending to do that now, the story's been revived on Twitter, being wildly good at hitting that little dangly thing that's swinging in the back of her throat, as Cardi B might say, <clears throat> is a real skill. But one could make the argument that it is, in fact, good and fun to shame a Reagan for her hypocrisy, considering that administration's contribution contributions to the sex-negative world we live in today, including the disastrous harmful war on drugs and the war on porn. The 1986 Mess Mess Report, uh, commissioned by Ronald Reagan, for the political war on pornography by claiming that porn was linked to violence against women. The report has been widely discredited. Nancy herself had a lot of disdain for the women liberation movement of the 1980s. She reportedly called the movement "silly women livers," hated that the whole that the whore that. They wore hot pants and felt that women would succeed in life if they behaved and appeared feminine. She believed that women were happiest in the home, raising children and caring for a man. She also hated poor people and people with AIDS caring for a man. She also hated poor people and people with AIDS famously refused to help a friend who was dying of the disease. Uh, Reagan also repeatedly attacked porn pornography. Yes, pornography. What is there to see? She quoted as saying during one of the Q&A sessions she sometimes held about women's issues. How curious can you be? Unless, of course, you're interested in becoming a voyeur, which I'm not appalled and ashamed of the motion picture industry today. Movies are attempting to destroy something that's supposed to to be the most beautiful thing a man and a woman can have by making it cheap and common. It's what you don't see that's attractive. What they're showing is animals. Apparently, what happened behind the scenes on the MGM lot was fine as long as a porn director didn't show up. So, this this story is just funny to me. Um, mainly because anytime a Shapiro gets thrown under the mud, uh, life is better for the entire world. With that being said, though... Uh, very, uh, I we should not be shaming. We should shame Nancy Reagan for being a hypocrite, but we should not be shaming her for her blowjob abilities. Um, because, like I say, girls who give fantastic blowjobs, we should not be calling them sluts. We should be calling them cool, because those are cool, 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 cool people. And uh, don't 
be uh, stingy. Come on, Mark. Don't be stingy. In regards to that, because that is kind of a shitty thing you could be doing right now is telling a woman that she shouldn't be giving blowjobs. Women should. Call her a hypocrite because she was a, shit, she did, she was a shitty person when she was in... Uh, her husband, I guess, was in office. Ronald Reagan. Or whatever that fucking shit is. But anyways, though, here's a question for everyone. Would you like a blow dry from Nancy Reagan? I don't care how old she is. I'll take that shit. She's the best. She's the best. Uh, the throat goat is the throat goat, and we gotta respect that game. Well, look at you. You just finished one of the many highlights from Cancel Sweezy. Glad you watched, and I hope you learned something important in your life today. Uh, we have more highlights available for you to watch out now, available now for you to watch. And uh, we got full episodes as well, so uh, don't be stingy and go watch another highlight. And uh, like I said, stay awesome. <laughs>